focus on the chemical industry because we've been talking about how prices are falling globally and now there's a centrum note that indicates that chemical prices continue to correct in quarter two of calendar year 2023 as well and they talk about it being across most of the commodity chemicals so let's start with ethanol and the other uh, chemical because that's where prices have fallen by 16 percent on a sequential basis uh, this of course is a raw material for some and an end product for some as well so there is some impact that we are seeing here for phenol and acetone, which are the products for Deepak Nitride, that's where there is a fall of 13.5% on a month-on-month -month basis, 14.2% for acetone. It is an important product for Deepak Nitride, while it is a raw material for Clean Science and Vinity Organics. Acetic acid is seeing the lowest price that it has seen since 2021. And uh, while it is a product for GNFC, so it is negative for them, it is a raw material for the likes of Lakshmi Organics and Jubilant Ingrivia. So that is positive for these two companies. TDI to lean spreads, uh, basically, TDI is uh, manufactured by uh, GNFC. That one is down 16.5% on a month-on-month -month basis. It's down 14% on a sequential basis. So it is, of course, negative for a company like GNFC. Captolactam benzene spreads, which is uh, uh, which is something that GSFC is into. There, there is an increase of around 3.5% on a month-on-month -month basis, which is positive for this company. EDC prices, which is basically used in PVC uh, pipe making, there, that is where prices have increased by 16% on a sequential basis. It it is a raw material for Kemplas Sanmar and that of course doesn't bode well for the company because margins will shrink here. Gujarat Alkalis is also in focus because caustic soda prices they have been falling so it is a lot of pressure in the commodity side as well which is coming through because it's down 25% on a sequential basis. This is about caustic soda. And that impacts Gujarat alkalis. Now, I have been speaking to a lot of industry experts and they are of the view that, yes, there is an impact on pricing, especially uh, because of lower demand coming in from US, Latin America and also Europe. And these companies are actually struggling to bring in prices higher because there is higher dumping from China at lower prices after China has just reopened trade globally. So there could be some pressure which could continue on these chemical companies. So just thought of highlighting that for you as well. Okay, that is about the chemical sector. But for now, we'll take your leave on this edition.